So my dedicated bros and birdettes, I told you I'm going to wear a pirate costume in the next anti-piracy screen reaction if we reach 2000 likes, which we did. Why am I not wearing a costume? Because Amazon decided to not deliver this godforsaken pirate costume. But thank goodness that I'm actually friends with the European cosplay champion, Dead on Esteban. He's carrying today's video because he borrowed me part of his Barbossa cosplay of the parts of the Caribbean. He looks amazing, my dedicated bros. Look at his cosplay of Gareth from The Witcher 3, Jotaro Yare Yare Das, or Nick. And this dude, this dude surely is talented. Please make sure to follow him on Instagram. I'm gonna link it down in the description below. And follow me on Instagram as well, Reniana's Baluigi Kid. I would say let's put on the pirate drip and start the reaction. Yar, my dedicated mateys. I hope you're now ready for some more anti piracy screen reactions. My dedicated bros, if you want to get that booty, make sure to smash the like button. And without a further delay, I let's go. It's, it's kind of hard to balance this monkey <laughs> on the shoulder, but not gonna lie. This is one hell of a cosplay, bruh. Yeah. Thank you, Don Esteban. Thank you so much. Follow him. Mario Party has anti piracy personal fight host by Joy Perleoni. Once again, he's back at it again. Let's watch this. I totally forgot about that. Here are the results. Luigi, you messed up. Let's catch a quick word with Luigi. How are you feeling about that scuffle? Oh, off your game, you say? Nani? That probably is a reason for that, huh? Could it be because your copy of this game isn't legitimate? Luigi, a good host doesn't let things slide. We're all about personality. Okay, we're getting personal now here. Isn't it like that? What is that? What the actual? Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I, was, I was waiting for that, ya mateys. And once again, piracy is no party. Will you ever get it, my dedicated bros? We have got the pirates right now. I, I'm a Luigi pirate kid, okay? What the heck? <laughs> Personified host. That is that is weird, man. This is weird. But there is more. Mario Party DS and the piracy host Hoedown. Ho? Not a showdown, it's a hoedown. Everything is in Japanese this time. Okay. I'm, I'm like really, really looking forward to this. Halibu is upset. As a host, he takes it personally when someone tries to play for free. It would be best to offer a formal apology for what you have done. Oh my, he actually looks kind of mad, son. Bro, they're taking this anti-piracy stuff too far. Trace your apologies on the touch screen before DJ Halibu attacks. But beware, he won't go easy on you. Bro, why is this such a banger? I'm sorry. For, For real? real? <laughs> How awesome is that, my dedicated bros? Never again. Never again will I pirate the game in my life. I swear to God, this is one of the coolest things I've ever seen. Oh, that music again. It, it definitely sounds like a goddamn remix of the anti-piracy screen music from before. You are a goddamn criminal. Whoa! Oh, you won't gonna make it easy for us, criminal scum! There he has the voice of an angel! What's happening now? He's throwing stones? And this is happening again. Not gonna lie, that was one of the coolest things I've ever seen. Out of all these anti-piracy screens, that was one of the best. Wow. Absolutely amazing. By the way, if you thought that this music from before was a banger, he uploaded the soundtrack on his YouTube channel. Nintendo Ginkgo anti-piracy disc check. Okay. Oh my gosh. The, the sounds already. Yar mateys, I need to shoot that screen. Oh man. I, I want to play Paper Mario right now. Thousand Year Door. Best Mario RPG game ever. Changed my mind. But so far, I don't see any anything bad about this. Oh, whoa. Maybe, maybe I was wrong. Maybe I was all wrong. Is the disc inserted into your Nintendo GameCube a valid Nintendo optical disc? What if you say no? What if you say yes? <laughs> Just say yes, bro. To validate your Nintendo optical disc, please locate and enter the 8-digit serial code printed on the burst cutting area. <laughs> Are you validated or cancel that, bro? Well, you are f <laughs> Dolphin Disc Validator. <laughs> Sheesh. What do you say about that? Okay, man. It's actually like um, changing the time, but not like that. So, is it a legit copy? Or will you now get punished? Verification failed. 
This is not a valid Nintendo optical disc. Okay, maybe I've made a typo or something. You don't have to be like that. Why do you have to be mad? It's a serious crime to copy video games. The Nintendo GameCube optical drive has been disabled and will no longer function. Imagine that, guys. Imagine you made a little mistake because I keep making mistakes in my life. And now you can't use your fucking GameCube anymore. That was a good one. I will rate it... Lit. Catastrophe Crow. Not too long ago, I was actually playing this dark game on my YouTube channel. You should better not look it up because it's very, very dark. But, here it goes. but let's see what an anti-piracy screen could have looked like in Catastrophe Crow. Whoa. Why is everything escalating right off the get-go? He's not been home for days. Maybe he will talk with you. Oh my god, you can even hear the voice of the child that is playing that in the background. Okay, so far this is just a normal gameplay. Everything looks totally fine. Crow64, I'm telling you. If this game would have been legit, it is the Banjo and Mario 64 killer. Bro, he trying out some glitches? Are some BLJs existing in this game? He's BL- <laughs> He kind of did the BLJ. It's illegal to make counterfeit copies of video games. Please report this Nintendo or Opus Interactive. And turn off the console now. <laughs> Holy sheesh. That is actually very well made. Not gonna lie about that. Food cartridge. Damn, I would I would shit bricks if uh booting stream would look like that on the N64. But we can safely say it's all fan made. It's all fan made, my dude. You get a bro super dads. You don't take this too seriously. I mean catastrophic row, the creep pasta behind this, the lore about the game is creepy enough, okay? Making at the price screen about it, it's gonna make it even creepier. Report this game! Immediately. Fuck, they are deadly serious about this, aren't they? <laughs> the only thing that was missing was a godforsaken jump scare, not gonna lie. Ooh, I was waiting for that. Nintendo Switch anti-piracy modding measure and power off refusal. Oh my gosh, this Mario 64 remake mod. Like, why did Nintendo... What the fuck? Why did Nintendo um, put something like that on their freaking emulator collection 3D old stuff? You're using a modified Nintendo Switch model? Yeah, and that's probably the reason why he's able to play this mod at the game. <laughs> in that case, it's you pirated in Nintendo's eyes. Press A to turn off. Account will commence. Whoa. Okay. What will happen if the counter reaches zero, though? You have refused to turn off your console. Your console is utilizing an emergency Wi-Fi connection brute force. We can't you go back to the home menu. Once any reference is connected, you will be connected with local authorities. Please speak clearly to the encrypted microphone in front of your console. State your legal name, then your current home address. The receipt exactly as allows. What the heck? <laughs> that was awesome! It was kind of like the one from Joey Barrelloni. Persona 4 Golden. Damn, Persona 4. Probably my favorite Persona game. The music, the soundtrack in Persona 4 was so good. It was gold. <laughs> <laughs> Load this file. And what is going to happen? Bro, I mean the story with the Midnight Channel alone. That is insane. What oh, the? Sorry to interrupt your play session. Bro, a Dutchie! This copy of Persona 4 Golden was illegally acquired. Bro, judging for the voice acting and from the style of this, holy shit, this could actually be legit. Right. I doubt that, but it actually does look fantastic, bro. Is a crime, you know. You can get in serious trouble for it. Bro, whoa. Is he vanished? Prison time. You don't want that now, do you? You're the good guys, right? I think I'm going to turn the game off now. Come back and you've actually bought it. Scram. Scram. <laughs> Holy shit, that was not nice of you. I hope you already have played Persona 4. There's also one with Persona 5. Let's go. Looking cool, Joker. From Kamoshida's response. Kamoshida, our first, first palace. Oh, gotta steal Kamoshida's heart, bro. 10,000 likes and I will play Persona 5 on stream. For real? But when is it gonna get personalized? I think this is now where it's getting interesting. 
Hold it. It looks like a copy of Persona 5 is a pirated copy. This is serious crime to copy video games according to copyright law. To continue past this point, please buy a legend copy of Persona 5. What is this godforsaken cursed soundtrack? Sounds like one of the original themes, but louder and lower pitched. That's it. Very scary. But the Persona 4 one was a lot better than this one. We Sports Resort and the Piracy. But where is Matt? We have to play against Matt. Come on, let's play some basketball. Luigi Kid will never be balling. Luigi Kid is fucking balling. Look at that. But we can't. I will be pissed, bro. Imagine you buy this copy online. Look at the atmosphere. Bro, he just wanted to make the Kobe. Rest in peace, Kobe. Criminal scum once again. Friday Night Funkin'. Everyone keeps telling me to play this game. This is a good game. I will play it. I will play it. Maybe on a stream. It is cool. Maybe with mods. I don't know. Imagine you pirate this game, Lamau. Oh, 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 oh. Not gonna lie, Friday Night Funkin probably has the coolest soundtrack ever. This is a legal copy of Friday Night Funkin. Video game piracy is serious crime. It's punishable by law. Please turn the power off now and report this pirate copy immediately. Yeah, look at that. Even his brain is saying criminal. And there are his testicles hanging. What is this? I ain't got the money for this free game. <laughs> okay, the last one for today. Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Trilogy. anti piracy screen. You are pretty much in court because you pirated the game. This is a special meeting only to be called during major crime scenes. So no witnesses. What? What is that even? There's a watermark! Alright, Jonah. It is major crime scene. A person here has sold this game without buying the real game. I think I know who the person is. It's Phoenix! What? Do you have any proof? Like, seriously? Yes, I do. Ace Attorney Trilogy can only be bought on four platforms. PS4, Xbox One, Nintendo Switch, and Steam. And one of these services, you didn't even pay for the game. And since this game costs money, you didn't even pay for this. I can't explain. Whoa! The judge! The judge is serious! I'm sorry, Phoenix. You know it's illegal to pirate games according to the law, right? You could have just bought this game for a measly $30 on Steam, right? <laughs> so I'm sorry, Phoenix. We'll have to say that you are guilty! <laughs> and if you came here to not waste all your money, why not get a job? $30 on Steam isn't that bad, so just buy the game and come back. And if you think you can get away with lying, I know everything. So please buy the actual game and come back later. <laughs> what is that? That's almost from the My64 Eddie Piracy screen. Hi, yada yada dozen mateys. <laughs> no, for real, I need, I need to get this off. This is a plastic eye patch and it's actually hurting, bro. What the fuck? So, my daddy gear, bro, so that's that was my reaction to some more anti piracy screens. They were actually even spicier in today's episode. So, if you thought they were spicy as well, then please make sure to smash the like button or something about this is gonna happen to you. No, I really appreciate it once again. Thank you so much to the Don Esteban for borrowing me his cosplay of Barbossa from Pirates of the Caribbean. So, I was able to sit here like a pirate in today's video. Really awesome. Link to his profile, some description below. And with that being said, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, to rate the video, or to leave comments or feedback, and we'll see each other in the next video. So watch my video here, bro. Stay awesome, stay safe, and see you. Ciao!